this is Rama from Creations Landscape Design, Earth Friendly Landscapes. So I'm here at a garden in the city of Fullerton that was installed last year, towards the end of last year, beginning of this year. And this garden is looking absolutely gorgeous and fabulous, so I thought I'd give you a peek. The driveway we left as is, for budget reasons. So in this side yard, we have a sundrop, a seaside daisy, Cleveland sage, I believe there should be two here, and this one is the hapatul Cleveland sage, it's not the standard Cleveland sage. The hapatul gets about 3x4, four, 4x4, four four. the standard gets about 6x6. Six six. This is called Incensio, Encilia farinosa. I believe it just finished blooming. And then this is the rest of the garden. Here the homeowners planted some milkweed for the butterflies. And then we used decomposed granite pads throughout most of this garden for budget reasons. And one thing that the homeowners had a lot of in their backyard that they inherited from the previous owner was rocks. Tons of them that we reused. So in this side yard, we have some seaside daisy and some artemisia. Little decomposed granite path. Some incensio, artemisia, and seaside daisy here. Again, the hapasul crimson sage, some deadlias. And then this is bird hill manzanita. Here are some of the rocks that were reused from the back. The previous owner had just left them in a massive pile. There are also some Dudleyas here. Some more sun drops and here's the Howard McMahon Manzanita. And then this happens to be just two benches in case you want to sit out here. And then obviously this DG path leads to the front door. There is eventually going to be a decorative bench here which the homeowner is refinishing currently. Some more Hapatul Cleveland Sage. This is a mallow. I want to say it's Sporalcia ambigua. I'll have to go back to the drawings, I don't remember exactly. Another Howard McMahon Manzanita. And then this here leads to the gate where this is where they take the trash can straight down. So then this area, which is a pile of rocks that ultimately leads to this dry creek bed. There's another Artemisia by the Dry Creek Bed. A few more down here. I am loving this garden. These Ancelia Farinosa are just doing beautifully, my god. They've just grown and flourished like crazy. This is one thing that I love about my job, coming out, seeing gardens installed in their full beauty. So then this tree here is called Lysoloma thornberry, fern of the desert, I believe. It's moments like this where I feel grateful that I don't have to sit at a cubicle from 8 to 5. 
So if you liked this video, feel free to share it. Comment below with any comments you may have or questions you may have in regards to the specifics of this garden. Like it if you like it. This is Rama from Creations Landscape Designs, our friendly landscape, over and out.